this is a very interesting thing that Marvel are doing. And I am looking forward to it. I may well tune in to this event because it starts at 5 o'clock this afternoon my time. So it's definitely something which I'll be able to attend. It's great that they're doing something like this and I hope that they do more events like this. I'm sure that if I do miss it anyway, there may well be, you know, some... There'll be a lot of conversation about it anyway. I don't know how long this event will last, so I may not be able to see the full thing. But... um. Yeah, if I am able to attend this event and watch this event, I say attend, you know, it's more, it is just watching it, isn't it? So if I am able to watch this event, I will talk about what I've seen, most likely on my YouTube channel. But it's an interesting development and... I am looking forward to seeing this show tomorrow and seeing the first two episodes of this Land on Disney Plus. And it's not too bad. And if this goes well for Marvel, which it most likely will, there's already over 200 people waiting for this event to start. And as you can see, the chat is already blowing up. <laughs> That's just how it is. If anybody else does want to tune into it, then there's the times right there for you. As you can see, it is an American time because that's just how it is in Pacific and Eastern time. But because the YouTube, it will also translate the time into your local time as well. So you'll be able to know if you're able to tune in or not because that's a nice feature that YouTube has. So that's not too bad. So just because it says it's starting at 9 o'clock Pacific time or 12 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern time does not mean that, um, that, the, that that's the only local times there are. Because on YouTube, it will let you know your local time. And you can even set a reminder as well. So if you're not 100% sure when it's actually going to start and how accurate the local time is on YouTube, then you can just set a reminder and it will also remind you. So I will set the reminder right now so I don't actually forget that this is going on. As I may well go on and do other things like edit videos and that and choose not to, and you know, choose, um, I may forget about it and not... Um, and not actually attend the event at all. Um, be interesting to see how this event is and how long this event lasts. I know it will most likely be a couple of hours at least, and it will be the first virtual event on this scale and of this kind that I have attended because I haven't attended these kinds of events are virtually before. I do think it's a good thing though and a good promotional tactic and also a good tactic to help keep the conversation going about a certain property and a property that's due to land on Disney Plus soon. And if I do at all attend this event, I, I, I most likely will because is for a show which I am really hyped about and looking forward to. I will let you know my thoughts and opinions on the event itself. If I see it in full or even just see one hour of it or a couple of hours of it. Um. So yeah, just have to wait and see what this event is all about. And at the time of recording this and talking about this, there's over 230 people just waiting for it at the moment. And there's lots of people 
talking in the chat as well, as that's just how it is. It is due to happen in six hours of time at the time of recording this and talking about this, so it's still a little while to wait. Obviously, many MCU fans are, have been waiting for something new to do with the MCU for quite a while, so this is a big deal, to be honest. This is a big deal. Also, I'm looking forward to seeing the two episodes on Disney Plus because they'll finally be landing on Disney Plus. They have been heavily hyping this up and heavily promoting this show, especially in the past couple of weeks. And the promotional material is just going to continue for this. Obviously the numbers will fluctuate and not everybody will be waiting on this live stream for it to start in a few hours time. But whoever chooses to wait for this to start, that's up to them really. But yeah, it's not too bad really. Some people will probably be waiting the whole 5 hours. I just changed to 5 hours now. So love, love, so there may well be some people who will wait the whole 5 hours, but then some may not. And obviously some people may well be talking about their WandaVision theories as well, and about what they think may happen in the show. There's lots of theories going around for this show, and also for some of the other future MCU projects, including some theories going around about the X-Men joining the MCU, Deadpool being part of the MCU, which now Kevin Feige has confirmed to be R-rated as well. Deadpool 3 is going to be R-rated and in the MCU, and it's going to be the first R-rated MCU property. So you'll be able to to see Deadpool in all its original glory, really, um, just like with the first two Deadpool movies. I didn't like Once Upon a Deadpool at all. The PG-13 version of Deadpool 2, maybe it's because I saw the original version, but I didn't really like that version myself. I was not a fan of it at all. And I'm glad that Kevin Feige recognises that. I thought maybe because of Kevin Feige being so pro PG-13, which is a 12 in the UK, for the MCU, I thought he wouldn't want Deadpool 3 to be R-rated. Obviously, it's full of surprises, and it's great to be honest. He was also talking about the Deadpool 3 project as if it's Ryan Reynolds' project and not his project. Even though it technically is his project, he doesn't like to talk about himself too much. He does like to talk about whoever else is part of it, like Ryan Coogler for Black Panther and things like that, really. And I like that, to be honest, that he doesn't talk about himself all the time. Because it can be quite easy to do that, especially with someone being the head of something, like Kevin Feige is now. He's the head of Marvel television and movies now, so he's the head of all of that now, which is why everything is under the move is, is under the Marvel Studios banner now. And that's why he also got rid of Marvel Television, so he could do his Marvel Studios stuff for Disney Plus. Which is great to be honest. But maybe there'll be some Marvel Studios stuff that airs on TV as well, but I'm not quite sure what that material would be yet. But, but as for anything that directly links with the MCU, I do strongly believe and have an impact in the MCU. I do strongly believe that will stick to being on a Disney Plus at the moment. But as for anything else that might connect less with the MCU, some of it may land on Disney Plus, some of it might air on TV, maybe... Airing on TV might be a thing of the past for Marvel now. Um, and, and it'll just be the movies that'll be shown on TV again. Just have to wait and see though. Just have to wait and see. Um, but it's all very interesting times at the moment. It's all very interesting times indeed. And this is an interesting event, an interesting development. And it's something I am looking forward to. And aiming to tune into 
because it's happening at a time where I'll be awake and I'll be around. I'll be around. I'll, I'll be around somewhere on the internet maybe at that, at that time. Um, but I can switch to YouTube if needs be. I've put on the reminder so I will be reminded that this event is happening. If for any reason at all I am doing something else like watching a TV show episode or watching a movie and unable to tune into this event or tune into it when it starts, I can tune into it at another point. But I'm hoping to catch the start of this event at least and see how it all goes, see what this event is all about and how it's going to be. If it's just going to be like a red carpet premiere for for uh, for this show on Disney Plus, but just it'll be um, a virtual thing, just a virtual v version of a red carpet premiere, then that's fine. That's fine. That's not too bad, really. I'll probably tune out of it if I feel like that's the route it's going down. But that's fine for anybody else who is a fan of that because a lot of people are a fan of those types of things. But for me, um, I, I'm, I'll just I'll just see how it is really. It, it might be something different. It might be something different then. Just have to wait and see. People will say all sorts of different things about WandaVision as you can see in the chat. I got the top of chat going at the moment. Whenever there's a live stream going on, I do like to have the live chat on so I see everything that's posted at one time. But I I, I, I didn't have enough time to activate that when I chose to screen record this and to talk about this. Anyway, I'll leave it there because there's there's not much to see at the moment and not much to, to talk about. But if I am able to attend this event, if I choose to attend this event like I'm considering at the moment, it's only in five hours time. So really, I don't have that too long to wait. So if, so if I can attend this event, I will attend this event because it is happening at a time where where I'll be around and I'll be awake. So yeah. Oh, and also someone saying that they're going to be posting wonder edits on their TikTok. Well, that's nice. <laughs> you could already do that anyway. There's plenty of wonder uh, images and clips and that to be used in wonder edits, but even more can be used for wonder vision as well. But yeah. That's all I got. That's all I got for now. That's all I got to say. I might as well leave it there because I can't talk about this for too too much longer, really. So that's all I'm going to say for now about this.